Hey guys, we are here at the 2018 Homesteaders of America Conference and we couldn't be more excited about it. We came here to learn how to grow our own food, be more self-sustainable, and get around more like-minded people like us. But today we wanted to have some fun and ask some hard-hitting questions from some familiar faces and not so familiar faces. So let's go have some fun. <laughs> get As my you voice. lose your voice. <clears throat> so let's go have some fun. So after coming to the conference last year, we had the cool opportunity of being the official videographers for the 2018 Homesteaders of America conference. Getting to talk to all the speakers, meet up with some of the vendors, getting to talk to a bunch of the YouTubers at the event, and just having fun getting to know everybody on a deeper level than we did last year. Start here with me and then we're going to go to them. Okay, that's really close. We don't need that close. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I just meant like to start here. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here at the 2018 Homesteaders of America conference, and we are talking to some YouTubers. Let's see how fast they can react. Why do you homestead? Because it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Clean food. This right here is one of the big reasons why we homestead, and so that way we can spend time together, so that way we can share life together. Because one of my goals was with having a family to have a place that we could work together as a family and share life together as a family. Uh, we wanted to do something good for our family, so uh, this guy can't drink cow's milk, so goat's milk was a great alternative, so we decided to get goats, and uh, what's the other thing? Um, you, you, can, you can drink while homesteading. That's true. I like all hobby as well, you can carry beer with you. All right, we're here with Amy Fuel. Homesteaders of America, and asking some rapid fire questions. Uh, what's your favorite animal to raise? Chickens. Oh, uh, pigs. Favorite animal on the homestead? Pigs, by far. Pigs. Cows. Goats. Pigs, by far. Pigs. What's your favorite animal? Orca whale. Orca whale? <laughs> I should have put more direction on that, let's see. What's your dream animal to raise? Sheep. <laughs> That's what I should have done. Sheep. How about you? <laughs> Cows. Okay. Uh, favorite chicken? I was going to say chickens. Uh, I mean, you're the Don't chicken. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. You this is going public. Is this is your private video. Nobody watches our videos. Okay. <laughs> this uh, goes public. It's chickens. <laughs> <laughs> I love putting them up at night and put, opening them up every day. All right. We are here with Jess from Roots and Refuge Farm. What's your favorite thing to grow in the garden? Tomatoes. Potatoes. What's that? You never know what you're going to get. It's a surprise every year. What's your top selling seed? Oh man, uh, beef steak tomatoes. Wow, never would have thought that. Beets. Beets, all right. <laughs> tomatoes. Tomatoes and cucumbers. Okay, what's it like being a ca what's it like being Jack the Caver? I love it. Uh, the, what's the best part about it? The best part is I get to go places very few people ever get to go. I get to see some wonderful sights deep in a cave and have my own little world down there. Carrots by far. I think that's my favorite thumbnail of yours, is your, yes, your carrot, carrot thumbnail. All right, we're here with Josh from Stony Ridge Farmer. We're asking some rapid questions. Uh, you have chickens? Yes, we have chickens. What's your favorite chicken breed? I like, well, to eat Cornish Cross. Yeah, sure. For eggs, I like a white leghorn because they don't eat but about this much food per day. We had a barn rock, smartest chicken ever. But I don't know if you want chickens to be smart because then they start getting out of the garden yeah. fancy, yeah. right? They start eating their garden yeah. and they're a little bit too smart. Like, I kind of don't want a smart chicken, but it's my, <laughs> it's my favorite chicken though. Let's say Orpingtons. Orpingtons? Yep. Rhode Island Red. Okay. Or East. Okay. I thought you were going to say Americana or East I, Yeah, I think that, that they are because I love the colors I can get from them, but Rhode Island Red because they continuously throw out eggs. Yep. They're just really reliable. And Turkeys or guineas? To guineas. To guineas. It's a tie. Is it, is it? That's why I said it. Yeah. You guys have both, right? You have yeah. yeah. bourbon and yeah. yeah. And she loves that turkey, the little squeaks it makes and everything. No, I always like, like turkey, I always like it. Okay, what's your favorite chicken breed? Well, probably Americana or Barn Rock. Nice. Uh, favorite chicken breed? Black Sex Link. Uh, Icelandix. You guys are liking them? Yeah. Loving them. Yeah. yeah. Um, Polish. Yeah. Ooh, Crazy good one. Hair. What do you like about goats? I love that they love me and they don't talk back to me or yell at me and tell me to do stuff. Except for when they went fed. Then they do yell at me. Said pigs are your favorite. Yeah. Alright, let's go favorite pig breed. 
Bread waddles. Uh, ducks or chickens? Ducks. Well, a little hesitation there. Right, a little hesitation. <laughs> right, a little hesitation. Is that the right? Why? Why the hesitation? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of over birds right now. <laughs> <laughs> Americanas. Americanas? Because of the egg color or the breed in general? I like the way they look. I also like the egg color. Okay. They're not the cuddliest though, but I don't mind. I don't cuddle as much. And you have goats? I do. Uh, convince me in 10 <laughs> seconds why I should have goats. They're full of personality. They give you delicious milk, wonderful cheese, and they don't need a whole lot. They eat browse, and that makes it a lot easier on a small space. Okay, I'm convinced. <laughs> um, I'll be looking for goats. <laughs> <laughs> actually Eustace Conway here who's kind of a TV star in his own right from Mountain Men and I actually got to sit down and talk to him and that was a really cool opportunity. Hi guys we're here with Eustace Conway he's here speaking at the conference this weekend and we just wanted to, to thank you for coming out and we really appreciate uh, you taking a few moments with us. Uh, good to be with you Jake good to be here at the conference I think it's really important that people can gather and just have their interests validated and meet teachers and people that can be role models to keep alive a long-standing tradition it's sort of like we're having to get back to it but we don't really have to reinvent the wheel this stuff's been going on for a long time and I'm just happy to be able to keep it alive and inspire people that's one reason you were asking about the TV show I do the mountain yeah. men show yeah and that's one reason I like to do that is just to show people you can still do all the old ways you can still make all this work and you can do it. It's not just me on the TV, it's you. And many times I just wish that I could reach out through that television and tell them, turn off the TV, <laughs> go outside and do it with your own hands. Yeah. You know? That's what it's all about. That's the bottom line. No, you just made a decision to just go and do it. Uh, you know, for people that are fearful of raising or growing their own food or going off grid, you know, what, what's something to break down those barriers for them? Yeah, if people are fearful about it and don't have the experience, I recommend training wheels. Like, uh, turn off the lights some. Like, start out one hour a day. Go to two hours a day. Go to four hours a day. Just learn how to do without. And uh, you could be living in a department and figure out how to use, like, only 4% of the electricity you normally do. Get rid of gadgets, get rid of things and start implementing new things like start cooking fresh food instead of takeout and then get a little pot on your uh, windowsill and start uh, growing a tomato grow a little lettuce grow a little uh, uh, spinach you know something like that when you were out there by yourself when you were out there living off grid how did people ever hear or find out about your story to where you started getting attention and then and then ended up on the TV show. How did that all transpire? Yeah. Over the years people would hear about that that weird guy, that hermit living out there, you know, and some people would find me, you know. They'd say, "Well, how do I find him?" you know? Like one guy said, <laughs> he told the Fred, he said, "You this is the road he goes to college each day." He says, "You just find a fresh rabbit and tie a note to his leg." And sure enough, I was like, "I got this roadkill rabbit. I was getting ready to eat it." It's like there was a note tied to the leg, you know, like, this is Bill, try to get in touch with you, here's my phone <laughs> number, you know. So, you know, the word, the word gets out. If you do something weird long enough, people will find out about it. <laughs> That's the truth. What do you want to be remembered for? What do you want to, the people to do because of what you, you've lived? <clears throat> well, uh, I would like for people to recognize that I'm pushing for the people to enact freedom, to demand freedom, and to recognize and get away from oppression and be able on an individual basis be able to create uh, ways of living that are enriched and more meaningful and do that by personal choice and I hope that my life can be one that will set that example and inspire people to take action towards those lofty ideals and values and recognize that it takes work to get there and do it. What's your favorite snack? Bar hey dates. Yeah, dates. Oh, All right, Doug, we gotta, we're gonna break through this exterior <laughs> shell of Doug. I know what it is, can I answer for him? Chocolate, ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, he does, he likes hummus. Fresh strawberries from the garden, actually. Ooh, do you get good strawberries? In June, oh my gosh, they're the best. Michigan strawberries, a little biased, but Michigan Michigan strawberries in June are like, it's like tasting the sun. It's just warm from the sun, 
can't beat it. That that is a snack. She's the foodie. She's the food lady of Frugal Family Food. That is correct. What is what's the coolest part of the Frugal Family Food community? Oh my! The coolest part of the Frugal Family Food community is uh, how we connect with one another and share our knowledge so that everybody can uh, feed their family well on a budget. I think that's the key: feeding it well. We what, should say oh, Doritos, 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 organic Doritos. That's your Doritos. Organic? Do they make organic Doritos? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice. Your voice is correct. Oreos. <laughs> Oreos. Favorite drink? Uh, unsweet tea. Okay. Favorite homemade meal? Favorite homemade meal is her lasagna. How about for you? Tomato good? pie. <laughs> tomato pie? What is that? It is a pie shell with diced tomatoes, onions, bacon, homegrown basil, and it's topped with a cheese and mayonnaise mixture. And it is it is on my list of last meal eats. Very nice. Rum and Coke? Rum and Coke. Black coffee. Uh, what's on your pizza? Cheese and pepperoni. I like date bars. Date bars? Okay. <laughs> like we make our own date bars. They're like a... I guess we call them energy energy balls that we make and make out of dates. I don't know. I like it. I enjoy it. Uh, Skittles or M&M's? Skittles. Um, You're a snacky person. Tomatoes <laughs> and CSA Ranch Chips. What are they called? CSA Ugh. Ranch, CSA ranch chips. chips. They're like cassava flour chips. Is this a Whole food chip? Um, yeah, you buy it at Whole Foods. Okay. Favorite meal? Ooh, I like a good steak. Steak meat and potato guy. Yeah. Nice. nice. Uh, favorite snack? Mmm. This is Triscuits. Me, this Triscuits. Is, this is making me hungry, by the way. Yeah. It's almost lunchtime. This is my birthday meal. What's your What's your go-to meal? Uh, kale soup. It's okay. a Portuguese kale soup I grew up eating, so it's like that makes me feel like I'm home. Favorite meal is beaver. Barbecue beaver. Woo! I'm about to try that. Uh, what's that taste? Of? What's the beaver taste? Of? It's a mixture of uh, you probably say like pulled pork and a steak. Okay. Nice. Hunter's fried chicken. It's rabbit fried and with a little bit of tomatoes on top. Amazing. All right. Favorite snack. Potato chips. Yep. Favorite <laughs> drink? Um, kombucha. Ooh, Oreo cookies. Wine. Um, food chocolate. What is it? Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, favorite drink? Oh no, you just said wine. Oh, oh. Reese's Pieces. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Becky likes you there. No, Becky likes you there. Your favorite drink? Okay, a mojito. Sorry. Mojito. Good one. Like life on Beagle Road was wine. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, all her answers were wine. <laughs> And then I'm just going to give you the floor. What, what else would you like to say about Joel Salatin right now for the record? Um, in my mind, we are best friends. That's all I have to say about that. Just in my mind, we have these, I, like I read his books and I'm like, Joel, you are so funny. I'm so glad you told me that story. Like we are best friends. And I told someone that earlier and they told me I sounded really lonely. And I was like, no, I'm not because Joel Salatin is my best friend. All right, guys, I'm here with the man, the myth, Joel Salatin. <laughs> and what are you up to here this weekend? Well, I'm speaking here at the Homesteaders of America conference, and um, it's it's uh, a little bit chilly for an October day, but it's not bad. It's yeah. just uh, exhilarating. Yeah, we're getting some rain. We're getting rained on a little bit here. Um, I was really excited about you when I started reading about passive poultry mm -hmm. and getting into that. We raise our own meat birds and meat turkeys, and we love mm -hmm. watching what you do. How do they get into that? How do they break down those barriers to start trying those things? Yeah, I think the most important thing to remember is that you, you can't Google experience. So, you know, wade in, but always wade in small. Don't, uh, you know, don't sacrifice your life or your family or whatever. Um, just get some, uh, what you think you might eat and, and just start there with a few. What's your favorite thing to do? What's with, with your farm, with your animals, with speaking, with writing books? What's your favorite thing that you do? Oh, yeah, I, I love it all. Probably if you were asking anybody on the farm except me, they would see, they would say the chainsaw. I, I'm, I'm the chainsaw guy. Okay. And, and I love, I, I, well, partly because you know, I just love getting things done. And the thing about a chainsaw is when you get done running that thing for an hour, something's done. You know, it, 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 it's not just uh, whatever, filling out paperwork or, or not getting things done. Yeah. And, and so, so I love the chainsaw uh, for my physical part and uh, for my mental part. Yeah, I, I enjoy writing. I, I love to uh, communicate. And um, so the- How many books do you have now? 12. 12 books. 12. And, and uh, so, you know, to, to have people say, you know, I, I heard you talk or I read your book and you know what, it worked. 
and we left our town job and we're out here doing this. I mean, that just just makes me cry. It's, it's just very powerful. What, what impact do you hope to leave on future generations with the things you talk about with the... <laughs> well, our, our mission statement is to develop uh, um, agricultural prototypes that are ecologically, environmentally, and uh, economically enhancing and facilitate their duplication throughout the world. So, so uh, you know, the hey, the, the plan is save the world. <laughs> That's just a small plan. Yeah. Uh, but but you know, but it starts by being faithful in little things mm -hmm. and touching one person at a time, seeing one conversion, one conversion, one conversion, and the cumulative effect is um, you, know, you develop a tribe and, and and a movement, and it's pretty exciting. Well, I've, I've got one more question for you. I've been asking a lot of the YouTubers of kind of some goofy questions. And you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but uh, I've been asking them to finish out uh, uh, boxers or briefs. Which which are you? <laughs> I'm the briefs guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't want stuff flapping around, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ran into Amanda Beal yet, Amanda at the Fundamental Home. Yeah. She's a big fangirl of you, and she'll be happy to know that. Are you the big spoon or little spoon? You know, that means? you know what that means? <laughs> so when you're laying next to him, do you? What's on the inside? The big spoon comes. Oh, I'm little spoon. Comes around. Little spoon I'm is the or the little one is the one that's inside the big spoon. I'm a little concerned about how this looks. What's your go-to YouTube channel? Right now it's Amy's because she's my best friend, Amy Fuel. <laughs> Very good. Suck up. Um, <clears throat> are you the big spoon or little spoon? <laughs> Give me your, if give, I don't say Doug and Stacy, then give, he's gonna get mad at me. Give me like three uh, go-to channels. Okay, let's see. Um, I like the Prairie Homestead. Okay. Off-road Doug and Stacy, and Farmhouse on Boots. Fundamental Home. Fundamental Home. Um, I would say uh, M.I. Gardner. M.I. Gardner, cool. Uh, favorite TV show? Yeah. The Office. Hey, oh, all right. What do you wear to bed for pajamas? <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep moving on, please. Please answer your time. Move. What? HGTV. Oh yeah, so I love HGTV, for her. and I Chip love. And Joanna girl. Um, I do love, but I've seen all the episodes. She loves them all. So now love Lists it. that are keeping. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I hate no show. Love it or love list it. Love it or list it. I'm just getting ready for when uh, Justin's gonna remodel my house for me. Uh, okay. I can't look at you in the eyes now, Michael. <laughs> We're sidetracked. Doug and Stacy's drone just went flying over right here. <laughs> it's gonna get my bald spot through my hat. <laughs> Are you the big spoon or little spoon? I'm actually the big spoon. Don't tell my husband though. <laughs> boxers or briefs for you? Uh, both. They're boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. Yeah. Okay. Good she wears my boxers. What about you, Robbie? <laughs> I don't know what those are. <laughs> Very important question. Who's the big spoon? Who's the little spoon? <laughs> That's a loaded question, that isn't is, it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He sleeps like a starfish, so. <laughs> so he's a fork. <laughs> yeah. Definitely yeah. a fork in my side. Yeah. Uh, boxer or briefs guy? Uh, depends, on, depends on if I'm in the garden or not. Boxers? <laughs> boxer, boxers if I'm in the garden. Briefs if I'm, uh, if I'm going for a run. How many hours a day does it take to get a body like yours? <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to be put a lot of hours in the gym, but now a lot of my exercise comes through working on the farm. So uh, I could be ten hours, eight to ten hours a day sometimes, just physical exercise out on the farm. How many hours would it take for me to get in your kind of shape? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on the diet too. The diet's an important part. Uh, oh, you could put in an hour or two a day, you'd be fine. Woo! <laughs> I'm in right, Justin, the big finale. Boxers or briefs? Both. Mix. Aren't mine a mix? Yes, they yeah. are. They're boxer briefs. Boxies. Boxes. <laughs> Why is that? Why do you like them over one or the other? Well, I want to say they're sexy, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's what I bought him. What it's what, there you go. It's what she could get in organic <laughs> underwear, probably. I bought him organic <laughs> underwear, and that's what that's what they were. That's so. what it is. You take I, it. It's not too much organic underwear choices I around there, Jake. Boxers or briefs? What? <laughs> Which is easier, putting this conference together or childbirth? <laughs> uh, childbirth. It's easier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doug. Boxers or briefs? Depends. Ha 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 ha!